Hey friends, Tux here. Before you, I have five of my favorite docs, and what I want to talk about today is a question I get quite a bit, is about file sizes, okay? Like, how many songs can you fit on a DAP, okay? And the truth be told, no matter if you're using a Sony, or a Surfans, or an Astran Kern, or Ritsu, like, they all have a problem where it's a situation of space versus, you know, quantity of songs. And that's really going to depend on you, okay? Like, every song is a little bit different. Some some songs are five minutes long, some songs are three minutes long, some songs are ten minutes long. Like it really depends on A, the length of the song, and then probably more importantly, B, the quality of the audio file. Okay. Is it a MP3? Is it a you know a FLAC? Is it a DSF, a DSD? Like what is the actual format that the audio file is recorded in? And it makes a huge difference in the quantity of songs you can save on any particular DAP. Now one thing about these is that all of these are expandable. You can put a little memory card in all of these and that will greatly expand the memory probably to the point where it's more room than you really need just for music, you know? So I would say the, my best advice would be to use the best quality file you can find because you really want to have that HD experience. You want those songs to sound the very best they can. So I would say get the very best quality music file you can and don't worry about the size. Like there's going to be room. There's always a bigger card you can buy and stick into the DAP. Like they all have cards you can stick in. So it's a situation where, you know, you don't worry about running out of space because you could always just get a bigger card and expand upon that, okay, to the point where you're going to have more room than you could possibly use, you know. And as far as, like, sizes, they do change a lot. Like, an MP3 is not that large in size, you know. Um, but if you get it into, like, DSF or FLAC files, uh, FLAC somewhat, DSF even more, um, that room size is going to increase a lot, okay? So you really will not be able to have as many songs on as you would otherwise. My Sony here, originally I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and only use the onboard memory, okay? Because in some cases that could perhaps increase the speed of the unit because it doesn't have to scan the micro SD card, okay? Um, but I did find out really quickly that on the Sony one here, um, even though it has a lot of space and I was using only DSF and FLAC files, it used up that space pretty quickly and it wasn't all the songs I wanted you know and again we're talking like you know hundreds and hundreds of songs um, you know and albums but the fact that I like to have everything on these guys so no matter what mood I'm in you know I could find that weird little song from 1991 or you know the 80s or whatever you know 2000s I can find that song I want to hear you know that that obscure b-track nirvana song I can find it and play it when I'm in the mood for it you know so it's really important to me to try and you know have as much space as possible on these players um, but go ahead and you know try and get the best quality file despite how large that file is. Now, another question that comes up from time to time is about, you know, how big of a card do I need? And I have covered this in previous videos, but I do want to reiterate the fact that having too large of a card, and when I say card, I mean a memory card, okay? Little SIM card, memory card. And when I say SIM card, I'm, I'm really referring to a, a flash memory card, or a small memory card that goes in there. Um, sometimes I'll say SIM because I'm thinking of phones, and phones have the same kind of issue with memory cards, but uh, don't get the two, you know, confused. And in fact, I will have a link down below for one of my favorite memory cards. But to reel this conversation back in, um, if you have a card which is bigger than you need, it can, in some cases, increase the size or the time, rather, that it takes for a particular unit, let's say the Sony unit, which I love, love, love this player. You know, it may increase the amount of time that it takes for the unit to actually be able to, you know, uh, boot up and that kind of thing, because it, it wants to scan all the files, you know. And if you have a really large, you know, amount of space to scan, it's going to take just slightly longer, not real long, but, you know, it all adds up. Um, so I recommend, you know, having a card in there that's big enough for everything you want and a little extra room, you know. So that could be that might for some people that might be 256 gig. Some people might be 512. For some, it might be a terabyte or more, you know. And oftentimes the players themselves will say takes card up to 512. But in all reality, it will take cards a gig or more, you know. So don't worry about that. I would just say, yeah, I almost have to stick the card in, make sure it's formatted properly. You make sure the files are set up right. Right, and then go ahead and just uh, see what is the largest card it will take because they often want to say it takes, you know, use up to 512 gigs, 
because they that's what's spec for but it can go more much like how you can overclock a computer you know a, a CPU to go even faster than what it's spec for but they don't really want to talk about that because that can decrease stability and different issues or heat or whatever have you so they, they want to keep it to a spec that they feel comfortable with you know um, but oftentimes that spec is lower than reality you know so that's something to think about so again have a card with enough space that you can get all your favorite songs on there and have a little extra room you know and you can always upgrade to a bigger card down the road now another question that comes up quite a bit is about headphones or earbuds do you have a preference what's your favorite brand what do you recommend um, I mean, I've used a lot of different ones, honestly. If you go back in the queue, you'll see I've used everything from like gaming headsets like Alienware and other brands, you know, to higher end, you know, headphones and earbuds. And for, for music, I'll admit that my very favorite ones, honestly, are these Sony ones for actual headphones. Uh, the noise canceling is pure magic and they work very well with the Sony NWA 306, which is one of my favorite music players, my favorite DOPS. So the fact they work so well together um, makes me say I want to use the Sony the most. In fact, I use these headphones more than any other headphones, okay? But truth be told, I use earbuds a lot too. Of course, wired headphones are the best way to get a true HD effect on your music. But I understand sometimes you want to use Bluetooth earbuds or whatever. That's cool. I get it. And that's where the Sony earbuds, the flagship Sony earbuds, which I will have a link for down below, um, are my favorite choice for earbuds. Now, Sony is going to be upgrading its headphones and I believe earbuds this year in 2025 is what I'm hearing. So these have been on sale quite a bit more than normal. And that's like another clue that Sony is about to release something new as they're starting to reduce stock on the previous one. But if you know, like as far as these are the fives, the fours still are being sold on Amazon, you know, so Sony will continue to sell like the older model at a slight discount. Um, so don't worry about that. And they'll still, they won't be obsolete. Like people still buy the fours and love them, you know. Um, but, you know, if you want the newest, latest one right now, it's five. And of course, six is just around the corner, you know, but I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't say don't buy the fives because sixes are coming. I would say now is a great time to buy fives because you're going to get them cheaper than what I paid and they're going to sound amazing. They really do a great job with HD audio. They do cell phone calls. They do, you know, movies. They do gaming, everything you want. So I would highly recommend these particular headphones, you know, and again, the noise canceling can't be matched. It is absolutely magical. I ride a scooter with a loud muffler and when I put the little earbuds in, it just blanks out that muffler sound and it is pure magic, guys. It's a, it's amazing. It can isolate that muffler sound and make it disappear from my ear holes, you know? So anyway, guys, that's what I have for you right now. Just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, file sizes, you know, how many songs you can fit on a DAP. Again, answer, it depends on the song itself how long it is and the quality of the music file and another question i get a lot is about headphones what i recommend um a lot of them sound excellent there's a lot of great choices out there a lot of it depends on your budget if you give me a budget down below and a question i could try and answer you back with what i would recommend but if you're just saying okay well i want you know something really awesome i don't want to spend something on like you know a thousand hour you know audio file headphones but just something that's gonna sound awesome you know um, these do a great job and they're about 400 bucks or maybe less on sale you know and the earbuds are about a hundred bucks less than that or maybe more less on sale like uh lesser in price on sale so anyway guys great choices from sony love them but there's a lot of great brands out there okay all right friends we'll talk to you soon uh, thanks for watching okay bye bye click the link